In this video, I'll explain why your net worth explodes after you make your first 100k and the steps you can take to get there quicker. Let's get straight into it. So the first reason is proportional returns. This is a business concept that believes investment returns are proportional to the amount of capital invested. This means the more you invest, the larger the potential return, assuming the same rate of return and time frame. Here's an example to illustrate this concept. If you invest $100 at a 10% return, you would earn $10 profit. Not bad, you gotta start somewhere, right? If you invest $1,000 at the same 10% return, you would earn $100 profit. Getting better. If you invest $10,000 at a 10% return, you would earn $1,000 profit. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. And if you invest $100,000 at 10%, you would earn $10,000 profit. Now that's what I'm talking about. In each case, the time frame, risk, and return rate are the same, but the profit increases significantly as the initial investment grows. This demonstrates how the return on your investment is proportional to the size of your contribution. Understanding proportional returns is important for new investors because it highlights the potential benefits of increasing your investment capital over time. It's one of the reasons why building up your net worth can lead to accelerated growth in your investments. Think of it like planting a tiny apple seed that grows into a big apple tree over time. The more seeds you plant, the more apples you can get in the future. The second reason is compound interest. Albert Einstein called compound interest the eighth wonder of the world. I'm not gonna argue with Albert on this one. This is because compound interest is an incredibly powerful tool for exploiting your net worth. Compound interest is when you earn interest not only on your initial principal investment, but also on the interest you've already earned. In simple terms, you start with an initial amount of money. You earn interest on this amount. In the next period, you earn interest on both your original amount and the previously earned interest. Let's look at a quick example to demonstrate how powerful compound interest is over the long term. Imagine you start by investing $1,000 into the stock market and continue to invest $1,000 every month for the next 30 years at an average rate of 8% per year. Here's what that would look like on a graph. It would take about seven years for your stock portfolio balance to reach over 100K. At this point, 85K of the balance would be your own contributions, while the interest you've earned is around 29K. By year 11, you'd reach over 200K, so it only took four years this time to make another 100K. To reach 300K, it only took three years. So you'll probably notice how the time to make each additional 100K is getting shorter. That's the power of compound interest. Not only are your initial deposits working hard to make you money, but you're also earning interest on your interest. You'll notice that from year 17, your total interest exceeds your total contribution. At this point, you're making more money from your investment returns than from your contributions. After year 25, you're essentially making 100K every year while still only contributing $1,000 per month. It's in those later years where the magic of compound interest really takes off. Let's check out the final result after 30 years. Your final balance is around 1.5 million. This consists of 361K in monthly contributions and about 1.1 million in interest. This, my friends, is the power of compound interest. It's often described as making your money work for you because it accelerates the growth of your savings or investments. Think of your net worth like a snowball rolling down a hill. As time goes on, the snowball gets faster and bigger. And that's why compound interest is often called the snowball effect. So the secret source to compound interest is regular contributions plus time. By the way, if you're looking for a reliable online broker to start investing and benefit from compound interest, check out Tiger Brokers. They are a relatively new online broker in Australia that I've been testing for the past few months. And I've got to say, I'm pretty impressed with what I saw. Tiger Brokers is chess sponsored, meaning you directly own the Australian shares you buy. They offer a competitive brokerage fee for both Aussie and US stocks. They charge a minimum $2.99 AUD per trade for Australian stocks and a minimum $1.99 per trade for US stocks. You can check out their full pricing on this page. You can even invest in the Hong Kong stock market if you're interested in the Asian market. As you can see, these are some of the lowest brokerage fees among Australian online brokers, especially compared to more traditional options. As a new player in the market, Tiger Brokers has reached out to me with an exclusive sign-up offer for my audience. If you use the link down below to sign up and deposit $2,000, you will receive 80 US dollars worth of Tesla stock, which is worth approximately 120 Australian dollars. In addition, you'll receive a 7% per year fixed rate on your uninvested cash up to 100,000 Australian dollars or USD equivalent for 150 days. I'm not sure how long this offer will last, so go check it out if you're interested. And if you're watching this video in the future, I'll link the current best offer in the description below. The sign-up process is very easy and only takes a few minutes. Enjoy. The third reason why your net worth explodes after 100K is momentum, motivation, and mindset shift. 100K is seen as a symbol of wealth for many people. That's why growing up, you often hear people saying they want a job that pays 100K per year. I mean, I remember saying that. Once you hit that 100K net worth, it's like you've knocked down a mental barrier. It represents a clear transition from five to six digits, making it feel like a substantial leap. For all you Pokemon fans out there, it feels like you finally evolved from a little Charmander to a Charizard. Or at least a Charmeleon. This is especially true if you grew up with very little money like I did. The psychological boost from reaching this milestone can create a sense of momentum 
making further growth seem more attainable. It's social proof that all your efforts and hard work have finally paid off. From my own experience, growing up, I had a scarcity mindset when it came to money. I was made to believe making money was hard since seemingly there wasn't a lot of it out there. When I first made 100K, I felt a shift in my mindset. If some random kid like me can make 100K, then what else is possible? From a scarcity mindset, I developed an abundance mindset. I had done it and I wasn't just satisfied with reaching 100K, I wanted more. I started thinking bigger and setting even more ambitious goals for myself. I felt super motivated to keep going. Next stop, $1 million. So don't underestimate the psychological reason why your net worth explodes after 100K. You will feel it too, if you haven't already. How to reach 100K faster. So now that we understand why your net worth explodes after 100K, the next question is, how do we reach that milestone as quickly as possible? Here are a few strategies you can implement. Tip one, invest earlier. Time is your best friend when it comes to investing. The longer you invest, the more your money can grow and compound. Let's compare two scenarios. Scenario one, from a young age, you are interested in investing, but you procrastinated throughout your 20s. At 30 years old, you finally make your first $1,000 investment and continue investing $1,000 per month for 20 years. Assuming an 8% average annual return, by 50, your investment grows to about 600K. Not bad, but let's check out scenario two. In an alternate universe, you don't procrastinate and start investing at 20 years old. Same numbers, $1,000 initial investment and $1,000 monthly for 30 years. With the same 8% return, by 50, your investment grows to around $1.5 million. And the majority of that balance is the interest you earned along the way. Just by investing 10 years earlier, you've gained nearly $1 million more. Crazy, right? But wait, there's more. If you continue investing for another 10 years until you're 60, your investment would skyrocket to $3.5 million. This is more than double the previous amount. So to summarize, it took you 30 years to get to 1.5 million, but only an extra 10 years to more than double that. If you're not a fan of graphs, check out this on-screen table showing a year-by-year -year performance of how your money compounds over time. It's always crazy to me to see the exponential growth towards the end. So just remember, every day you're not investing, you're losing out on the opportunity for your future investments to grow. By the way, if you're interested in playing around with these compound interest calculators, I'll leave a link to them down below. Tip two, invest more. Look, the saying it takes money to make money is very true. The more you can invest, the more you'll potentially get back. Let's use our trusty calculator to demonstrate this. In scenario one, you invest $300 per month for 30 years at an 8% annual rate. By year 30, you earn around 339K in interest. Now in scenario two, you manage to invest $500 per month for the same period and rate. By year 30, you earn around 565K in interest. That's 226K more than scenario one. Over that time, you would have only contributed an extra 72K for a significantly higher return. So investing a bit more can help you reach 100K and beyond faster. To invest more, you can increase your income by negotiating a salary increase at work, starting a side hustle or becoming a freelancer, investing any windfalls like work bonuses, tax returns, birthday gifts or inheritances. You could also look to reduce your expenses by budgeting your monthly expenses and cutting back on things that don't add value to your life. But personally, I'd focus more on increasing your income since there's no limit to what you can earn, but there's definitely a limit on how much you can save. I'd rather see you get a 10K salary increase and still enjoy your morning takeaway coffees than the other way around. Tip three, optimize your money. While investing earlier and more is a great way to build your wealth over time, you can reach 100K faster by optimizing your money in other ways. Here are a few examples. One, prioritize paying off bad debt. I would classify bad debt as any debt that charges 7% interest or higher, not including your home loan. Bad debt should be paid off as soon as possible. Credit card debt is a common example, with the average credit card interest rate in Australia being 18%. Remember how we discussed compound interest helping you build wealth? It can also work against you just as powerfully if used incorrectly. And if you let it get out of hand, it can cripple you financially very quickly. Imagine having $10,000 of credit card debt at 18% interest. Without repayment, this debt will grow quickly. Paying this off is like getting a guaranteed tax-free 18% return, which is much higher than the average long-term stock market return of 8-10%. to so please prioritize paying off bad debt like credit cards, home loans, or even car loans before investing. Two, build and maintain an emergency fund. Aim to save three to six months of living expenses in an easily accessible account. This fund acts like a financial buffer, protecting you from unexpected setbacks like losing your job, your car breaking down, or medical emergencies not covered by insurance. I like to think of an emergency fund as an insurance against bad luck. So if something bad happens to you that requires a lot of cash up front, Without an emergency fund, you might resort to multiple credit cards or personal loans which can lead you down a dark path of bad debt. So always please protect yourself. Three, park your spare money in a high interest savings account or an offset account. You may want to store your savings and emergency fund in a high interest savings account. A high interest savings account is different to the standard transaction account you probably opened as a teenager from a big four bank. Transaction accounts typically offer low interest, so park your money in a high interest savings account instead. I'll provide links to some of the best current high interest savings accounts in the description. 
Keeping money in a regular transaction accounts means it loses value over time due to inflation. A high interest savings account will at least help you reduce the impact of inflation. However, if you have a home loan with an offset account, it's often better to park your money there rather than a high interest savings account. Variable home loans usually charge a higher interest than what you'd earn from a high interest savings account. Plus the interest savings from an offset account are tax free, unlike the taxable interest earned in a high interest savings account. By the way, if you're enjoying this video or found it useful, comment the word donut down below so I know who you are. And if you're new around here, what are you waiting for mate? Hit that subscribe button and join this awesome community of like-minded people. Also, be sure to sign up to my free newsletter, Aussie Money Club, where once a week I'll send you some money tips, major news in the market, and any cool life updates from me. And if you're interested to learn how to start investing to start the compound effect ASAP, then check out this video on screen where I'll show you how to start investing in Australia as a beginner. And as always, thank you for watching. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next video.